I thought I would do a Q&A because it's such nice weather outside and what day would be better to do a Q&A than today? You guys ask me questions like usual, of course. I need questions for a Q&A, right? So I'm gonna answer them today as detailed as possible so that you guys will get to know me better. So the first question is about this year. How has your 2017 been? Well, so far, a lot has actually happened. Well, I was in Miami not that long ago to celebrate New Year's and yeah, so I've been in Miami. Other than that, I've been working. My sister come to visit, but obviously it's only January still. So there's not that much to say really. It's only been a month, half a month and there's many months to go. So yeah, ask me again in a few months. Maybe I'll have a better answer. Will you do more pool challenges? As summer is coming closer and closer, the water in the pool gets warmer, obviously, because the sun heats up the water in the pool. Yeah, I don't have to explain it. But yeah, probably we'll do some more pool challenges with Jelly and maybe some friends. I love pool challenges and yeah, it's just really nice being able to record videos while you're having fun at the same time. Well, of course, I always have fun recording videos. But sometimes, you know, some days are better than others, of course. That's with life. That's everything. For everyone, it is the same, I guess. Some days, it could be a good day. Some days, it could be a bad day. How is Molly doing? Molly is doing so good. She's so cute. She's doing so well. <laughs> I love her so much. She is the cutest dog in the world. And Happy is just as grumpy as always, but she is still the cutest dog ever. Oh, you share first place with Molly. They are so cute. I absolutely love dogs. I love every single animal. <laughs> what do you like the most about YouTubing? Okay, so this is a really, really good question because I realized something a few days ago when I uploaded a vlog with Jelly where me and Jelly go up to a place called AAA where they help dogs from abusive situations and gas stations and killing stations, etc. Basically in Spain, they do have these places where people can give in their dogs and they will gas them to death, basically. And uh, they are not the kindest to animals here where I live. So the AAA, they take in dogs in need, who need a home, who need shelter and who need taken care of. Yeah, they try to find them a home. Basically what I realized from that is I posted a picture the other day of a dog that I saw out there and writing a little message under it and so many of you reposted and shared your stories of your dogs that you have adopted and that just shows me how big of a say I kind of have that you guys I, I don't know really how to explain it but basically I can help change the world with you guys and that is kind of what YouTube helps me doing I've always since I was very very young ever since i can remember wanted to help animals in need and people in need and now i finally have the opportunity to actually do what i want to do well of course youtube is the best job ever and i couldn't imagine a better job for me personally so i can kind of do what i love to do like the two things that i love to do in one i can speak out for people and animals in need and do what I love to do. I really hope you guys understand what I was about to say there. I, I don't, I'm not really that good at explaining, but basically I can show awareness for people in need and animals in need to help you guys who maybe are young understand what is going on in the world and then maybe you guys will change your mind or maybe I can change some of your minds and maybe try little by little to help the world to become a better place. Okay, enough of that now. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go on to the next question. What is your biggest achievement in 2017? Or what do you most want to do in 2017? Of course, I haven't really achieved that much yet. In 2017, I would love to do so much more. I have so many plans and I'm just so excited to tell you all about everything I'm gonna do in 2017. I think, I hope that this is gonna be my year where things are gonna really do well for me and of course you guys help me believe in myself every single day because of your comments. But what I want in 2017 is of course to help more people, help more animals in need and of course interact with you guys, maybe go to fan meetups and uh, travel around the world and meet all of you and get to know you better. Because you know quite a lot about me now because of YouTube and these Q&As for example. But 
there's so much I don't know about you guys, where you're from, everything, everything about you basically. And I would love to learn more about you. And of course, I want to keep on making videos and keep on making my dreams come more and more true. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. All your sweet comments and all your support really does make me happy. And yeah, YouTube has really, really changed my life around. What is your favorite game to play with Jelly and why? Um, me and Jelly do actually play games together time to time. Not only for YouTube, but also outside of YouTube. Sometimes we do play GTA, we race, we, we just do fun stuff. Sometimes we also try out games that we could record together. For example, if we see this new game and it looks super cool, we try it out together and see, hmm, is it worth playing for YouTube? But yeah, I think our favorite game would probably be GTA. We do play that the most, I do believe. I've been having my eyes open so much that I'm like crying. My eye is leaking. <laughs> How old are you for real? <laughs> I am 18 years old. My birthday is the 16th of May. So yeah, in a few months, it's my birthday. I'm, I'm really not excited to get older. I think I, I'm, I'm happy with the age I am now. But yeah, of course, you can't stop time, right? So yeah, but I'm 18. Where is your favorite place? Um, like there is, no favorite place without favorite people, if you know what I mean. I love this place. I would love to stay here, but it wouldn't be the same without my family or Jelly. So I wouldn't want to be here alone, then it wouldn't be a good place. So it's kind of difficult, but wherever my family is and the people I love and my friends are, then I'm happy. Like that is my favorite place. As long as I've got people that I love close to me, I am happy. Q&A, will you have any I Am Santa merchandise coming out? Well, of course guys, I will be having merchandise coming out. I don't really know when or what it's gonna be, but in 2017, that is something you can expect. I really hope that I am going to be able to release merchandise as soon as possible. I just think it's awesome being able to make your own t-shirt or anything else. Like, it's just an amazing thing and it's a great achievement. And yeah. I would just love to do that. Why did you choose Jelly? I did not choose Jelly. Jelly did not choose me. It just happened, basically. I mean, I met him and he met me, obviously. We met each other and then we kept on talking and then, yeah, things just happened. We just, we just started liking each other. And yeah, it's not about choosing. It's not like I chose him, like lining up a lot of guys and be like, I want that one. No, that's not how it works. This is a two-way relationship. He has to like me and I have to like him in order for us to be together, of course. Or love. You get, you guys know what I mean. Could you show us your feet? This is a really, really weird, creepy question, but sure. Oh my God, these are so dirty already and they're like really broken, these socks. Oh my God, I need to buy new socks. What animal would you like to have if you haven't got one yet? And what would you call it? Well, after me and Jelly went up to AAA, the dog place, <laughs> we really, really, really wanted to adopt a dog because we are both huge animal lovers and we love helping. So that would be an amazing thing if we were able to get a dog. But we did discuss it with my parents and I do agree with them. We already have two dogs and traveling back and forth from Sweden and Holland and Norway It is very very difficult taking those dogs with us Yeah, it is just very very difficult So I think me and Jelly will have to wait till we find our own place and move out And then we can have dogs I would love more than anything to help adopt the dogs up there I, I would, oh my god That's like my goal in life <laughs> What they say on their website is if you adopt one, you save two lives. Because the one you adopt, of course, gets a home, but then there's also one available place for a new dog to come in. Because they can't just keep on taking dogs and dogs in. They need to have enough space and enough money to take care of the dogs. So you save two lives for adopting one dog, which is amazing. So I, I would love to. I would absolutely love to get another one. And what I would call it, I'm not really sure. Well, me and Jelly will have to discuss that <laughs> when we get the dog. Or you guys can maybe name some, some nice suggestions in the, in the comment section. 
If you guys had a dog, for example, or any other animal, what would you name it? Maybe I'll find a nice one and I'll be like, that one. It's gonna be called that one. But I did see a dog up there, which I kind of like had a connection with. It sounds really weird, but you will realize that one day when you see like an animal or a person, you just you just have this connection. He was just laying laying there while I was while I was stroking him and he was like falling asleep. It was just the cutest dog. And yeah. I, I, I told myself that if that dog is still there in two years. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take care of it unless it's got another home. So basically when I am able to have a dog because right now I can't because I'm living at my parents' house. Do you or Jelly have any tattoos or want to get any tattoos? Basically, I do not want to get any tattoos because I mean it is something on your body which is gonna be there permanently unless you laser it off or something which is just gonna lead to scars. I guess I would want to get a tattoo if it would mean something. I want to have a meaning behind the tattoo. For example, if someone in my family died, if something dramatical happened, if something good happened, just, yeah, if, if something happened, which is good or bad, and you can have like a little reminder of it on your body. For example, this is kind of rude to just say, I love you mom, but <laughs> imagine if my mom would die and I would like, tattoo something little here or somewhere else on my body and be like, yeah, that's, that's for my mom. That's a little reminder to, to show how grateful I was when she was alive and still am for what she has helped me with and yeah, just a little reminder. Then you will never regret having that tattoo because it's your mom. You don't want to get rid of your mom on your wrist, right? You don't want to. Oh my God, Th this, <laughs> this Q&A is turning out, I don't know, quite bad. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Love you. What do you do when you aren't filming videos? I think when I'm not filming videos, I'm thinking of videos to film. I'm either ordering products from Amazon that I can use for my videos, which is coming out this week and actually something really fun that I ordered from Amazon and I'm so excited to make a video about it. What do I do when I don't make videos? I, I watch series, I go out with my parents, I go out with Jelly, we we do stuff together, we travel, yeah, yeah. Where do you live at the moment? Well, like I said, I live at my parents' house still. I'm 18 years old and yeah, I just can't afford my, in my own place yet. You know, I gotta work and yeah, I don't think a lot of people at this age can afford for the house, so I'm staying at my parents' for now. <laughs> And here is the last question. How do you feel to be with Jelly? I am so grateful to be with Jelly because he is such a kind person and he's very understanding. So I am overly happy. I couldn't be happier with anyone else. I'm just really, really happy to have him in my, in my life. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys want to see a Q&A with Jelly, I will... I will, I will make one. So leave it in the comment section below, some questions for me and Jelly, and also give this video a thumbs up. If we can get this video to 4,000 likes, 4,000 likes, 4,000 likes, then <laughs> I will make a Q&A with Jelly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the awesome support and all the nice comments. I love you all so much. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I hope you guys have a great night or morning or wherever you come from, whatever time zone you're in. I love you guys. Bye.